And today, fences are going up, cleanup is about to begin, and there's already some tape being put up around Terry Shrunk Plaza. As you may know, many homeless people spend their days in camp there. Our Brent Weisberg has been live at the plaza all morning long. Brent, you've seen kind of this progression. What's the latest right now? Now we're kind of at a standstill right now. Nothing really is happening. I'm going to get out of the way here and we can show you this picture. You can see a little bit down here, southwest 4th, uh, at the corner, uh, some of uh, the patrol officers with Portland Police and some of the uh, DHS Federal Protective Service officers, they right now are simply uh, waiting for these last few campers to pack up their belongings and move. Uh, where they are going, some of them are coming down here to 4th and Madison. Others are going over across the street to City Hall. If they do that, they only have until 7 o'clock before Portland police will then go on that side and start moving them. You can see the yellow tape here. It has been up uh, for about a half hour. They came in uh, just before uh, 5.30 this morning and started waking some of them up. And then they started uh, lining the entire perimeter of Terry Shrunk Plaza with police crime scene tape. Though obviously there is no crime. I had one person come up here and ask if something serious had happened. All this is is for maintenance. This maintenance is going to be happening for a week and it is by the federal government standard annual scheduled maintenance they have to do some grass work and then they're going to be using uh, the time to also clean the sidewalks around here and this has been a very popular spot for homeless campers lately. Uh, a lot of them say that this is uh, their right to be sleeping inside the camp and along the sidewalks, though uh, there has been some legal disputes. And also Portland's mayor, uh, Charlie Hales, has in fact uh, prohibited them uh, from sleeping and congregating along the sidewalk during the day here. Uh, we do know that this closure will last again for a week. It will open on August 28th at 7 a.m. Of course, they are also going to be putting up fencing. That will happen later this morning, and that is to prevent anyone from going back inside the park along the sidewalks, too, once everyone has cleared. Reporting live in downtown Portland this morning, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News.